Hi everybody. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create this model, the plate model with the drill hole, with a groove, and also how to move out this drill hole to a particular dimension in particular axis, either X or minus X, Y or minus Y to the particular MM, the whole drill hole I can shuffle or you can call it as a move without disturbing the base plate. Similarly, I can also move out this groove also. Can you see this in all the 3D model? There's a base plate with the drilled groove, okay, drill hole with the groove also, okay? Let us check out. Don't worry on the 3D model. Now I'm going to show from the scratch level how to generate this model, then how we can move out this drill hole to that, okay? Now what I'll do, quickly I'll take up to the blank file. So I go to view, I take here switch windows here, switch windows, and I already taken a blank file here, I will take this blank file. This is an empty, empty file, blank new file. Here, I go to draw directly one rectangle. REC, enter stands for rectangle. I click a point here, I drag out and I say add. 100 comma 75, 100 mm into 75 mm. 100 mm is for X axis, 75 mm is for Y axis. Nothing but a X comma Y, nothing but a 100 comma 75 mm. Enter as a done. So this rectangle piece or 2D model is ready. Inside this, inside this, I'll draw a circle. C enter, R C I R C L E circle command in AutoCAD. I click somewhere randomly one point here. I say about 12, one, two, enter. So circle is also placed. So two drawings done. One is rectangle, one is circle. Now I'm going to generate one more rectangle. R E C enter. I click outside the screen here, outside this rectangle and I'll draw this without any dimension. There's no dimension, but bit, uh, I made sure very myself that the second rectangle is beyond this first rectangle. Okay, done. The model 2D is done. Now you can clearly see there are three AutoCAD 2D drawings now. One rectangle is this, second rectangle is this, circle is this. Done. Okay, now I wish to copy this. C O P Y, copy command. C O P Y, enter. I select the complete model here. Enter, I click and drag with the ortho on, F8 is on, so you'll get a horizontally, I got one more duplication. Fine. Now, this is 2D model. So far, what we did is in a 2D model. And for your kind information, please look into this. We are in a top view. Look at my cursor point there, top left only cursor point. Always be with my cursor, this is a top view. Now, how to get into 3D model, how to convert this into 3D model, that we will see in the few seconds. That we'll see in few seconds. Now, how to change this layout? Now, you see all the 3D model. Default will be 2D model only. AutoCAD factory setting is default model is 2D, we'll see that now. But today, I'll show you how to convert to 2D or 3D platforms, how to shuffle. Now, here, in the bottom right here, you can see that workspace switching here. I hope you can see my cursor point at bottom right. Bottom right of the screen, you click on this workspace switching, go back to drafting and annotation stands for. Drafting and annotation stands for 2D model. Automatically, all the ribbon, that menus, you know, all changes, sets, shuffles for 2D model. I hope you understood this, right? Now, similarly, I want to take you to the 3D world. I want you to take all to 3D world, that is, same thing, I'll go back to same workspace switching. Click on this, go back to 3D modeling here. I hope you can see my custom point bottom right here. If I click on 3D model, obviously yes, all the button shuffled or reset for a 3D modeling. Extremely well and fine. Now, again, still, still we are in a 2D model. Matlab in the view, what the view you're seeing is top view with the plan, plan view, top view here. But the buttons are representing already 3D view. How to set this 2D to 3D view is, go back to visual. There are so many tabs are here, right? You can see that here. You go back to here, the visual here, visualize. In this visualize, you come back to drop down here, drop down here and choose. You can choose anything, top, bottom, left, right, front, backside view, all are standard six 2D views. 
and remaining are SW, SC, NE, NW stands for Standard 3D Views in AutoCAD. SW stands for Southwest, SC for Southeast, NE for Northeast, NW for Northwest. For a time being, all this is 3D only. Obviously, yes, but for time being, I'll take it to SW is isometric view that is the Southwest. I click on this. Now the view turned. You can see that shuffled to some slight angle. Now we are in southwest view. Okay. Now both are in 2D only. Both are in 2D. Why I took the 2D two models is one is before, another is after. I wanted to compare and show you how it will be before, how it will be afterwards. Before, after, right? Done. All are 2D only. Now the question is how to convert 2D model to 3D model. The very important question is now. Now done, because I wanted to help here in the, all the level of uh, participants, no, viewers also, okay? Some people are in the mid-level uh, knowledge. Some people are very advanced. Some people are very, very basic. Even I wanted to help them. Let us check out how to convert this 2D to 3Ds. The command is extrude, E-X-T-R-U-D-E. -E. Extrude is the command where all the 2D model can be converted into 3D solid model in AutoCAD. Now I said extrude, enter. I select this rectangle, first rectangle, select rectangle, third rectangle, third circle. First rectangle, second rectangle, third is a circle. I could have selected all these three together also allowed. Okay, that is allowed. But I selected one by one, doesn't matter. Enter. And now you can see the model growing like a 3D model, either positive above side or negative downside. Positive Z negative z direction that indicates uh, that's asking for height now you can read here extrude specify height of the extrusion is i want just 10 mm the drawing unit has been set to 10 mm i've taken 10 mm you can see that boxes here now also you can see before and after left side is a 2d right side is a 3d i'm going to orbit orbit method shuffling in 360 degrees to visualize ourselves very comfortably in any particular angle of the model. How do I do that is sh uh, on the keyboard, shift, hold the shift button on the keyboard, hold the shift button and press and drag the mouse wheel or mouse roller like this. Done. So I'm dragging this, holding the shift, I'm dragging my mouse wheel. So I'm looking to all round. Very well, good. Now, I'm going to make a groove or this. See, now I'd like to call this as a rectangles, right? But this I cannot call this as rectangles because these are all the 3D models. I should, I must call this as a box, boxes. There's a box one, box two. This both the boxes are in same level, same level. But I want to create a groove kind of thing. So what I'll do, M-O-V-E. I want to move up the second box up. M-O-V-E, enter. I select this box, second box, enter. I click anywhere, anywhere on the blank space you click and make sure ortho is on. F8 is on on your keyboard. Make sure that we are dragging towards Z axis. I click up here, Z axis. Can you see that below that my bottom right cursor, you can see the value as well the plus Z axis extremely well. This is placed as per our my plan, as per my plan, which I wanted to show today. Okay, done. So the thing is now you can see one box here, second box here, and one more cylinder is merged inside this box now. Now how to puncture this? I want to puncture this like a drilled hole on a plate. Okay, now what we do is I'll go back to here in the visualize, I'll go back to visual styles, in this, I go to shade with edges is right now default. It's right now in my system. I'll go back to 2D wireframe. In this 2D wireframe, I can see very clearly all the edges. Now, what I do is I'm going to puncture this now by saying SU. Yes, U, B, R, subtract. R, A, C, T. Subtract is the command. Short form is SU, but you can call full uh, command name is S U B T R A C T subtract enter. I select outer box first, enter inner cylinder next, select enter over. But in this 2D, in this wireframe, in this 3D wireframe, we cannot judge 
what is right, what is wrong, what is uh, disconnected or attached or subtracted. I cannot make out this unless until I make this shade more. Again, I go back to 2D wireframe and I choose shaded here. Shaded with edges. Now uh, we are all can see very clearly the drilled hole on a plate. I could have done this together also. This is possible. Together we can do this. One shot, one go. Together we can remove this. But to explain you clearly and slowly and thoroughly, I have done this one example at a time. Now I'll do repeat the same command again. The command name is subtract. Short form is SU. Enter. Select the outer box. Enter. Select the second box or inner box or on top of the box, whatever. Enter. So that got cut down. Okay, I hope you understood how to generate a drilled hole in a 3D model on a solid model and also how to create a groove in a 3D model on a solid model. Very good. Excellent. Now, the remaining topic is very major topic is how to move out this now, how to slightly shuffle this hole to a particular mm to a particular axis. For example, I want to move this drill hole uh, 15 mm towards x axis. Now, I hope you all can see this is x-axis here, bottom left. Please watch out my cursor tip always. This is x-axis, this is y-axis, this is z-axis, top. RGB, RGB stands for red color, blue color, and green color. Now, I want to move this drill hole towards this red color axis, that is x-axis, about a 20 mm, 15 or 20, whatever, in this direction. I can move in this y also, minus y, plus y, minus uh, is x or plus x. Let us see how to take out this. I'll go to one command that gives you a beautiful option to mo edit or modify solid models in AutoCAD. Command name is S-O-L-I-D-E-D-I-T. -E that stands for solid edit. It is a one word command, no space in between. S-O-L-I-D-E-D-I-T, -E enter. Then I go to face. In the so many options are there. This is the biggest command in AutoCAD 3D model. It cost a very, very vast topic subjects in this. But today I'm going to perform this just by using a first option is face. Either you can say F enter or you can click on this. Okay, let me say F enter only. F stands for face, enter. Now in this again, so many options are there. In this, in this, for this case, I'm going to choose move option. M. Again, I say M enter. Now, computer says here a solid edit select face. AutoCAD says here to select the face. I select this face. I hope you can see that this drill hole inner face got selected. Enter. Next line is you click anywhere, doesn't matter, anywhere out of the screen. Out of this model on the blank screen, you click and drag towards the axis. Please note that my axis is locked with X or even Y or even a Z because ortho mode is on. F8 is on. I'm moving. Make sure that this is in the X axis locked and moving towards. I say 20 enter. Now watch out now. If I say that one enter, I've given value 20 there. If I say enter, watch out the drill hole. It got moved out. Again, double enter. To come out of this command, you need two dummy enters. So we moved very successfully the drill hole from the previous position to 20 mm towards positive x axis. Now, similarly, I want to move out this groove, entire groove slot towards minus x, about 5 mm. Okay, let's check out that. Same way, same command. I'll repeat again. The command is solid edit command, S-O-L-I-D, E-D-I-T, enter. Again, in this, I hope you all remember now, F enter stands for face. The next is M enter stands for move. Carefully select that slot here. Very good, excellent selected. Let me check out by orbit here. Please watch out, please watch out. This face is not selected yet. So it's very incomplete. So I wish to select even this face also. I click on this. Uh -huh. Now it is extremely well, extremely perfectly selected all the inner like a C channel that is selected. Now orbit shift and drag the mouse. That is done, enter, done. Next is as usual, I click outside the model here somewhere on the blank screen. 
I click here. Now any direction, either this, matlab, that is a plus x or a minus x, I can click. The direction I can say about a 10 mm, 10 enter. Now watch out the groove. Watch out the groove, I've given a value 10 already. I'm going to press one dummy enter, watch out the groove. I hope you understood this concept. Again, after all this, I said double enter, dummy enter, two enters to come out of the solid edit command, one enter, two enter, Z enter, E enter. That is a zooming all. Now you can see very clearly, this is a before and this is after. I hope you clearly understood this example. I hope you enjoyed. Today, this particular topic task is over.